The Uglies, Chapter 5, Facing the Future. Here's option two. Tally touched her interface ring, and the wall screen changed. This Tally was sleek, with ultra-high cheekbones, deep green cat-like eyes, and a wide mouth that curled into a knowing smile. Uh, that's, a uh, pretty different. Yeah, I doubt it's even legal. Tally tweaked the eye shape parameters, pulling the arches of the eyebrows down, almost to normal. Some cities allowed exotic operations for new pretties only, but the authorities here were notoriously conservative. She doubted a doctor would give this morpho a second glance, but it was fun to push the software to its limits. You think I look too scary? No, you look like a real pussycat. She giggled. Unfortunately, I mean, that in literal dead mouse eating sense. Okay, moving right along. The next tally was much more standard, morphological model, with almond-shaped brown eyes, straight black hair with long bangs, the dark lips set to maximum fullness. Pretty generic tally. Oh, come on. I worked on this one for a long time. I think I'd look great this way. There's a whole Cleopatra thing going on. You know, Shay said, I read that the real Cleopatra wasn't even that great looking. She seduced everyone with how clever she was. You're right. <clears throat> and you've seen a picture of her? They didn't have cameras back then, Squint. Duh. So how do, you, how do you know she was ugly? Because that's what historians wrote at the time. Tally shrugged. She was probably a classic pretty. And they didn't even know it. Back then, they had all these weird ideas about beauty. They didn't know about biology. Lucky them. She stared out the window. So, if you think all my faces are so crappy, why don't you show me some of yours? Tally cleared the wall screen and leaned back on the bed. I can't. You can dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? No, I mean, I just can't. I never made one. Tally's jaw dropped. Everyone made morphos, even littles. Too young for their facial structures to have set. It was a great waste of a day, figuring out all the different ways you could look when you finally became pretty. Not even one? Maybe when I was little, but my friends and I stopped doing that kind of stuff a long time ago. Well, Tally set up, we should fix that right now. I'd rather go hoverboarding. Shay tugged anxiously under her shirt. Tally figured that Shay slept with her belly sensor on, hoverboarding in her dreams. Later, Shay, I can't believe you don't have a single morph, please. It's stupid. The doctors pretty much do what they want, no matter what you tell them. I know, but it's fun. She made a big point of rolling her eyes, but finally nodded. She dragged herself off the bed and plopped down in front of the wall screen, pulling her hair back from her face. Tally snorted. So you have done this before. Like I said, when I was a little. Sure. Tally turned her interface ring to bring up a menu on the wall screen and blinked her way through a set of eye morph choices. The screen's camera flickered with the laser light and green grid sprang up on Shay's face. A field of tiny squares imposed across the shape of her cheekbones, nose, lips, and forehead. Seconds later, two faces appeared on the screen. Both of them were Shay, but there were obvious differences. One looked wild, slightly angry. The other had a slightly distant expression, like someone having a daydream. It's weird how it works, isn't it? Tally said, like two different people. Shay nodded. Creepy. Ugly faces were always asymmetrical. Neither half looked exactly like the other. So the first thing Morpho software did was take each side of your face and double it. Like holding a mirror right down the middle, creating two examples of perfect symmetry. Alright. Already both of the symmetrical shades look better than the original. So, Shay, which do you think is your good side? Why do I have to be symmetrical? I'd rather have a face with two different sides. Tally groaned. It's a sign of... Childhood stress. No one wants to look at that. Gee, I wouldn't want to look stressed, Shay snorted and pointed at the wilder looking face. Okay, whatever. The right one's better, don't you think? I hate my right side. I always start with my left. Yeah, well, it hap yeah, well I happen to like my right side. Looks tougher. Okay, you're the boss. Tally blinked. At the right side face filled the screen. First, the basics. The software took over. The eyes gradually grew reducing the size of the nose between them. Shay's cheekbones moved upward and her lips became a tiny bit fuller. They're already almost pretty sized. Every blemish disappeared on her. her skin was turning flawlessly smooth. The skull moved subtly under the features, the angle of her forehead tilting back. 
her chin becoming more defined, her jaw stronger. When it was done, Tally whistled. Wow, that's a pretty good that's pretty good already. Great, Shay groaned. I totally look like every other new pretty in the world. Well, sure. We just got started. How about some hair on you? Tally blinked through the menus quickly, pulling picking styles at random. When the well screen changed, Shay fell over on the floor in a fit of giggles. The high hairdo towered over her thin face like a dunce cap. The white blonde hair utterly incongruent with her olive skin. Tally could hardly manage to speak through her own laughter. Okay. Maybe not that. She flipped through more styles, settling on basic hair. Dark and short. Let's get the face right first. She tweaked the eyebrows, making the arch more dramatic and added roundness to the cheeks. Shay was still too skinny, even after Morpho Software had pulled her towards the average. And maybe a bit lighter, Tally took the shade of the skin closer to the baseline. Hey, Squint, Shay said. Whose face is this anyway? Just plain, Tally said. You want to take a shot? No, I want to go hoverboarding. Sure, great, but first let's get this right. What do you mean, get it right, Tally? Maybe I think my face is already right. Yeah, it's great, Tally rolled her eyes. For an ugly, Shay scowled. What, can't you stand me? Do I need to get some picture... Do you need to get some picture into your head so you can imagine it instead of my face? Shay, come on. It's just for fun. Making ourselves feel ugly is not fun. We are ugly. The whole game is designed to make us hate ourselves. Tally groaned and flopped back onto her bed, glaring up at the ceiling. Shay could be so weird sometimes. She always had a chip on her shoulder about the operation, like someone was making her turn 16. Right, and... Things were so great back when everyone was ugly. Or did you miss that day in school? Yeah, yeah, I know. Shay recited, everyone judged everyone else based on their appearance. People who were taller got better jobs, and people even voted for some politicians just because they were qu weren't quite as ugly as everyone else. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and people killed one another over stuff like having different skin color. Tally shook her head. No matter how many times they repeated it at school, she never quite believed that one. So... What if people look more alike now? It's the only way to make people equal. How about making them smarter? Tally laughed. Fat chance. Anyway, it's just to see what you and I will look like in only two months and 15 days. Can't we just wait until then? Tally closed her eyes, sighing. Sometimes I don't think I can. Well, tough luck. She felt Shay's weight on the bed and a light punch on her arm. Hey, might as well make the best of it. Can we go hoverboarding now, please? Tally opened her eyes and saw her friend was smiling. Okay, hoverboard. She sat up and glanced at the screen. Even without much work, Shay's face was already welcoming, vulnerable, healthy, pretty. Don't you think you're beautiful? Shay didn't look. She just shrugged. It's not me. It's some committee's idea of me. Tally smiled and hugged her. It will be you, though, really soon. Really you, soon.